Good afternoon. Well, we've seen very contrasting weather here in the British Isles this weekend. It's a similar story for Europe. Temperatures well below average in the north and well above at Zagreb in the south. And what we're going to find is that the transition zone, the milder weather, will push its way further northwards, flooding up into Scandinavia, the Baltic Sea states, eventually western Russia. Whilst at the same time, that cold air looks set to remain across the northern half of the British Isles. And we've certainly seen some snowfall this weekend at Boltshop Park. 50 centimetres of snow is about 20 inches, nearly two foot. And it's still snowing in southern Scotland and eastern Scotland, as you can see. And that snow adding to the problems, blowing around in the strong wind. So a severe weather warning for you through the rest of today. Some, certainly some dangerous travel conditions and it'll be quite icy on the roads and underfoot. We've also got a little bit of rain and sleet through Northern Ireland and Northern England. It's certainly rain though as we head further south and it's starting to push its way northward. So behind it, drying up for a time across central England and parts of Wales before we see the next batch of rain late in the day. And the temperature contrast evident here in the British Isles, below freezing in the north, very mild but still quite blustery in the south. And hardly dropping in the south tonight, very mild, another cold night for the north, but mild weather remaining in the south and another spell of wet weather is on the way. In fact, that rain will spill its way northwards to turn to snow across parts of northern England, northern Ireland and southern Scotland by tomorrow morning. But we're not just worried about the snow, we're worried about the strength of the wind, the tightly packed isobars indicating potential stormy conditions for parts of Wales, Western and Central England come tomorrow. That severe gales gust to 80 or 90 miles an hour, which if they come off will give us certainly some damage. So we're keeping an eye on that for you at the moment. And with another dose of heavy rain to come in the south tonight, it does mean that there is risk of further flooding already. We have one severe flood warning out. But the rain will clear quite quickly from England and Wales tomorrow, but heavy showers will replace it. The wind, of course, the main feature of the weather for England and Wales, gusting 80, possibly 90 miles an hour. And the snowfall through the central lowlands tomorrow morning may well cause some disruption. That snow edging further north through the day. But then it comes back southwards during Wednesday and there's the possibility of more rain, sleet and snow then heading north on Thursday. Certainly an unsettled week ahead and we'll keep you informed.